Hey guys, Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how to change the starting pistol for your zombies map. We're also going to be covering the co-op last stand pistol, and we're also going to be going over the solo revive pistol that you get on solo mode. Alright guys, let's jump in it. Alright guys, so I've linked the tutorial down in the description below so you can go there. Uh, basically what we're going to be grabbing is this code that I have on the page. So you can watch, the video is literally going to be right here. Um, so I've updated the tutorial page for this. So you can just select the code and then we're going to go right back into our script. Alright guys, so we're going to come back to Launcher now and we're going to go and right click on whatever map that we're going to be dealing with and then we're going to open up the map folder, go to Scripts, ZM, and then find whatever your map name is. So it's going to be uh, ZM Test for me, but you guys could be whatever it's going to be your map's called and then go into the GSC file, not the CSC file. So with the code that we just got from our website there, you're going to want to paste it into here. So for me, I'm going to copy that code and then come back into here. So I like to put it, you know, it can be really anywhere in here as long as it's after user maps because I believe that's where they're actually setting it up. So I'm just going to paste it in here somewhere. So I'm just going to fix the formatting here and there we go. So now if you're looking at this, what we have is our default last stand pistol, solo last stand pistol last stand pistol and start weapon. I'm not sure what the difference between the last stand pistol and the default last stand pistol are, but it seems to be setting it to it, so you know, I'm not going to bother with that. So, you know, you can set up your starting weapon to be different than your last stand pistol by changing this here to another get weapon and changing that to whatever weapon you want. But in my instance, I want my starting pistol to be the exact same as what you have as your last stand pistol. So for me, I'm going to be using the Glock in my actual map. So I'm going to go and change the starting pistol, which is the exact same thing as the last stand pistol, the default one. I'm going to change that to my Glock. So I called it Glock 19 suppressed. So that's going to cover co-op last stand as well as the starting pistol. And then the second one here is actually the pistol that you have in last stand when you're playing solo and you got down while you had quick revive. So you could actually set this to anything. So I could even go with SMG standard and that would be the CUDA. And you could choose anything. I could even go with the upgraded one if I wanted to. So I'll just kind of show you guys in game now. All right guys, so we're in game. And as you can see here, my starting pistol is my Glock. Uh, so that is working for that. So I'm just gonna buy quick revive really quick here and then we'll just get down and I can show you that the CUDA that we set up before in script is also our last stand pistol because we are on solo so it's not going to be giving me like if I was on co-op it should give me this Glock again uh, say I had a different weapon it'll actually swap out with that Glock which I'm not going to show off because I know it works but then the, the solo one I'll show you that one right now as soon as we get a zombie in fact I can actually just down myself with a grenade so why don't we do that oh fine now you show up all right, so here we go. We got a CUDA. So, and it's funny because since you're supposed to have a pistol, and it looks like you're crawling, so I'm like crawling on my stomach. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, guys. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed and learned something out of that. Uh, so don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. See ya.